Hello everyone. This video will provide instructions on using FortiClient for iOS. FortiClient for iOS is an SSL VPN, or a Secure Socket Layer Virtual Private Network, web mode client. It provides secure communications to your network, across the internet, through the Secure Socket Layer, to ensure both data privacy and security. The first step for using FortiClient for iOS is creating a connection account. When running the application for the first time, the Add Account window will open first by default. To create an SSL VPN connection account, you need to enter an account name. I'm going to use Fortinet Demo, and select OK. The Account Details window will open. Note that each account created must have a unique name. Next, select Host Name, then enter the server host name or IP address using the keyboard. I'm going to use sslDemo.fortinet.com, and then select Done on the keyboard menu. Next, select Host Port to enter the server TCP port number. I'm going to use the default port, which is 10443. Next, select Username to enter a username, in my case, sslDemo. Then select Done on the keyboard menu again. You can toggle the Check Certificate value in the Server Certificate section to Off if you do not want to verify the Server Certificate. The default value is On. In general, you'll want to turn this option off when your Server Certificate is not in the default trusted list of iOS devices. For example, you would want to turn it off when using the self-signed certificate on the FortiGate device for the SSL VPN connection. Finally, select Done from the top menu pane to create the account. The Accounts window is displayed, and, as you can see, the Fortinet Demo account has been created. To add an SSL VPN connection account, from the Accounts window, select the plus sign in the top right corner of the screen. The Add Account window will open. Enter an account name using the keyboard. I'm going to use Sunnyvale HQ, and then select OK. Remember that each account has to have a unique name. The Account Details window will open. Select Host Name and enter the server host name or IP address using the keyboard. Then select Done on the keyboard menu. For the host port, I'm going to use the default value of 10443. Select Username and enter your username, in my case, J-H-O-N, and then select Done on the keyboard menu again. Selecting File Name under the Client Certificates heading shows us that there are no client certificates available, so we will need to add those to the device. Select Done from the top menu pane to create the account and return to the Accounts list. To configure a client certificate, you need to import the certificate to the FortiClient application using iTunes. So, open iTunes and connect your iOS device. From your iOS device's home screen in iTunes, select Apps from the menu bar. Scroll down to the File Sharing section, and from the Apps column, select the FortiClient icon. Then, select Add in the FortiClient Documents column. The Open window should pop up. Browse your computer and locate the desired certificate file. Then select Open to save the certificate file to the iTunes 40 Client Document File Sharing Directory. Now, when you synchronize your iOS device with iTunes, the file will be loaded to your device. To use the client certificate that we imported, open the 40 Client app on your iOS device. Select the Edit icon, and then select the account to which the certificate applies. Open the Account Configuration screen, select the File Name box, then select the certificate you want from the list, and hit Select. Now you need to enter the passphrase for the certificate, so select the Passphrase box and enter the passphrase using the keyboard. Note that your passphrase should be a little more complicated than the one I'm using. The Summary box should show a brief description of the certificate. Select Done to return to the Account screen, and then select Done again to finish off the process. To start an SSL VPN connection, from the Accounts screen, select one of the accounts that you've created. 
the sign on screen will open. And enter the password for that connection using the keyboard. Then select Done. Also, please use a more complicated password than the one I've used here. Select Login to log into the account. Once connected, the bookmarks screen will open. From here, you can go to your previously bookmarked locations or create new bookmarks. To create a new bookmark, select the plus symbol in the top right corner of the screen. The bookmark window will open. Enter a name for the bookmark. I'm going to use Fortinet. Then, enter the location of the bookmark. In my case, http colon double slash www.fortinet.com. You can also enter a description of the bookmark if you'd like. I'm going to leave that section blank. Select Done once you've finished to be returned to the bookmark screen, where your new bookmark should be visible. As you can see, selecting the new bookmark takes me to the Fortinet website, as expected. Note that, if you want to add a bookmark to an internet location, your FortiGate device has to allow access to the internet through the SSL VPN connection, which is not always the case and is not allowed in the demo account.